Parental discretion is advised. This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we're on the road to WrestleMania. TNA has some shady policies. There's some surprising superstars on Twitter. The Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by Naked People. Encouraging erections since forever. Welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is episode <laughs> uh, coming to you live from the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm the Sorgatron. With me tonight is the Bobby to end all ba- Bobbies, the Bobby to the F to the J Town, the Bobby F J Town. How you doing, the Bobby, sir? The Bobby to end all babies. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby the Bobby, the, Bobby the stop the baby making. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's it going, oh. everybody? Excellent, excellent, sir. Also coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, a place with no light bulbs and higher education. It's the Wrestle Fan. Oh, not true. I have a light bulb. I have an energy saving. You were just shit. telling me about how you were like, I'm waiting for my order of light bulbs to come in. Apparently, yes, because they, my freaking dorm room likes to scrounge their light bulbs together to where I have to put in a work order for them. A work how order? many How many for Wrestle the, fans does it take to properly order a light bulb? Zero, because I, I, Russell fans have like lights in a month. It is insane. But yes, That's I'm crazy. excited. It is Russell, Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 362. Thank you. Yeah, I have the document. <laughs> I don't know why mine's not open. I still have the last podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. After Welcome while, to Let's Play. Just... Welcome to Let's Play. No, Bobby, no, Bobby, no. I just start. I just start all automatically. No, this is not. This is not Let's Play. The fine podcast okay. from InsertCoinToBegin dot com. Uh, also Ross, with us comes right after AwesomeCast on on uh, AwesomeCast dot com. Yes, and also with us at, at a distance too far away to play the iOS version of the X Men nineties arcade game with me uh, in local play is the Riz. Also, I have a challenge. You have a challenge? Wait, wait, I, that's I'm, the other I'm, podcast too, I thought. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm cross-branding this sort. <laughs> okay. There is actually a wrestling game that's on here. What? Shikara Block and Fido. Yes! What? Buy that. Buy that 20 Buy. times. Now, I it, already I already have the, the, like, the drawing app that they had. What was that? Where you could, like, color your guys... No. No, this is, yeah, the, the, the Color Tunes Chikara game. I have. This is also 99 cents. Oh, I'm on a buy a thon. You're, you're making me spend the big bucks tonight, Riz. <laughs> well, you you did tell me about, you know, uh, whatchamacallit? X Men? Look, X Men. See, look. Look at that. Look what at that. that. Wait, wait, okay, for the audio, what's going for on? For the audio. audio I don't even spinners. know what this game is, and I'm buying it. It's They're, downloading now. Oh, it's this basically, is a game, like you match the blocks. Yeah, it's basically bejeweled. oh okay. It's a match three. Basically bejeweled with uh, Shikara characters like Saturn, Gavin Loud- Loudspeaker, uh, who else? Some of the ants I think are in here. <laughs> Mysterious ants. and Handsome Stranger, and Marchi Archie. Oh wow! And there's a story behind this, and it is because and you have to match all these blocks because. Uh, Ultramantis Black is trying to save Delirious. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm opening so, yeah. Now. That's how my challenge. I didn't even get to my X-Men game because I'm, now I'm opening this. Oh, there's an empty slot. And I can start the, start the game. All right. You, hey, hey, you know, there's another app. Uh, that there, while, there is? While we're on the spending spree on the iOS App Store or on your Amazon App What's Store app for store? the Android, there is the WMS Gold app, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, where we talk about, where I, I reminisce that. in a drunken, belligerent mess about the good old days of multimedia CD-ROMs and, and educate how Wrestle the fan Wrestle fan. And the exactly. San Diego Zoo. I know Zoo. things. <laughs> and the San, yeah, 
and a CD ROM wow. with the San Diego. And team. also, that's dollar ninety nine again on that stuff, and it Got connects you as, as extra content that is not available anywhere else. And also, we are at, of course, this show is at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com. We have some other articles and links to everything for the show. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Blip TV, Roku via the Blip, Blip TV app, YouTube as well, in video and audio I like how formats. You just pronunciate Spreaker. He's like iOS, Android. Uh, we're on iTunes, we're on Blip TV, and we're on Spreaker. And because we're on that's the one that, that doesn't roll. Because I go Stitcher to Spreaker, and I, I need to make sure my consonants are working. It's like Streaker, only not naked. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, so with that, uh, guys, it's... Yeah, but the, oh, yeah, hey, you can also drop us a line. Good times. Hey, hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. we lose all the regulars, and then and then we're off the killer. And the regular jumped the gun. We, you can email us with your thoughts, opinions, and complaints. Complaints can be attention, uh, Bobby F J Town at good times. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow dot That sucked. I was the only one that oh, shit, did it late. right, <laughs> and I'm not here all the time. Four one two two zero six WMS zero. If you want us to hear your voice, we got a very special one coming from the voicemail uh, later in this episode. So let's start this show the only way we know how. If we can pull it off with this crew, we're gonna pull it off. We're gonna pull it off. Gonna, let's start with the voicemails. We got we got a couple voicemail. Voicemails? No, with the emails. Yeah. Email. What are you talking about? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, Briz. Yeah. Obviously. Shrunk. So, uh, Chachi. Uh, Chachi. Chachi. Are, Riz, are you the voice of Chachi? I think is that I'm, is that what we're doing? Because I think Chachi, since he's the voice of me when I'm not there, ah. I think I think Chachi. You. Just, you, you I, I'm I'm the unofficial voice. You of Chachi. are you are interchangeable with Chachi. Don't tell Chris. <clears throat> no. <laughs> don't tell don't tell Chachi I said that. <laughs> That's okay. He doesn't listen to the show. No. Oh no. So, so all right, here we go. <clears throat> the subject title is Greetings Cohorts. <laughs> so last night I was trying to watch Raw. First, first of all, I don't read... think he would ever say anything like that <laughs> no, he... <laughs> in, in person. He, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. He probably says something like, uh, sup, bitch tits. And then he goes on. <laughs> so well, last night I was trying to watch Raw and read Twitter. It hit me. I cannot do both at the same time. <laughs> I, wasn't a- <laughs> I wasn't able to pinpoint the problem in these activities combined until last night. Now I've only now I've been watching wrestling on and off for 20 years. And so I realize that it will have its ups and downs and it's never never bothered me before. Wrestle fan, I will not apologize for you for calling you a whiner because you are in fact a whiny bitch. It, it's not your fault. Your generation was raised that way. It's what you do. Yes, we're all How- whiny bitches. <laughs> However, I think you meant generation, not generation. No, it's, oh, it's, <laughs> this so, isn't comments from the unwashed masses. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm it, no. The rule is you read it verbatim, even <laughs> if it's true. chachi. However, it's your fault that I can't do both at the same time. Your con- your consistent whining about what they are doing makes me not enjoy the watching the product. Don't say End of story. <laughs> you can respond however you want to this, because I'll forget to listen back anyhow. It just means that Monday nights I'll be playing video games and I'll watch Raw later. I'll be back when my schedule allows. Until then, Sorg, you're in charge. But, but Chachi. I thought I'm always in... Nope, that's what he I, says. All right, so all right. Game right. charge. So it's, it's it's wrestle fan. It's re- wrestle fan. Your response. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Chachi thinks he's. Uh, so, he, uh, so he's mad because well, you're okay. talking about it on Twitter and and, yeah, and you're okay. complaining. Can I can, can I just say um, for those that don't know, uh, this is coming from the same person that spent like six straight weeks. Uh, Tweeting Zack Ryder telling him to go fuck himself for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is also the same guy that anytime Ryback 
makes an appearance on the television screen. Uh, likes to go on Twitter and say how angry he is that Ryback is doing things. Mm. But uh, so Chachi, uh, if me uh, tweeting that, oh, uh, Triple H uh, beating up Wade Barrett and kicking him in the dick for no reason is kind of weird and you know not pro- you know progressive for storylines. Uh, made you stop watching wrestling. I'm sorry. I think it's the but, obvious um, answer to this. Uh, comes from Mad Mike. Just fuck already. Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, oh. I invited him to scissor, and he didn't want to scissor. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what's going on. Fun. He's playing hard to get. But, but I I agree with Chachi. Of course you do. No, 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 <laughs> no. Who, who here? Well, I took that personally. <laughs> who here is Chachi, Who here? Chachi's not a cookie. He's more of a Fig Newton. Wrestle fan, you find everything the. Bitch about? Not really. Yeah. Yes. No. Do. Yeah. We, what really. were you guys what, fighting what about in the hangout last night? Discussion last night. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, if no, you no, want to no, go ahead, you want go into ahead. this, Riz, because I have visual Nintendo. aids. What? Uh, I, visual aids, and not those aids. What not, I'm, what I'm sorry for your loss, buddy. Wouldn't announce that yeah. out loud. Yeah. But <laughs> it just radiates the aids. He's just... mad. He was angry. He was discussing Rock's promo because of one line i was discussing it because hold on hold on i the only reason i was discussing it is because you like to point out that i'm wrong all the time (laughs) you are okay and it got to the point where i made one sound that was i i probably never will ever make again it was sad it was happy it was laughing and crying all at the same time and they, i think i'll never I do that to people that that's that's a that's a form of euphoria you can't even reach so you're welcome it, Riz. it got to the point where they asked me to pick a winner and i said the winner is and i logged off well bobby I didn't care. who who asked you to pick a winner because i was Riz, right. i think exactly because <laughs> riz cause, likes to start but, to spite me because i didn't right. but i didn't care i know i logged off but Hey, but hey, yeah, is, yeah. I kind of lose it when people get angry about wrestling. Yeah, I'm not wrestling. angry. Okay, okay. I, if, if, I, if says if the, the guy that got that, really angry about uh, wrestling last week on the show. Hey, but if for the people Wait. in the if it's for the people in the hangout, I'll apologize to them. I try. I try <laughs> I to not apologize to Twitter. <laughs> hold on, no, I won't because I'll explain the bad things that happen in professional wrestling that happen in WWE or TNA or whatever. Like, I try to bring humor to it. And, and like, okay, when John Cena was doing his old melodramatic shit at the end where he's, like, wiping away fake tears, I was laughing my ass off. It was so bad. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. John I mean, Cena has absorbent thumbs. Okay, the part thumbs. where he was, like, fake wiping away tears because he was part, so sad. John yeah. Cena has absorbent thumbs. He was crying. I, uh, I gotta say that I definitely zoned out on your response because it was more than 140 characters. Moving on. Oh, uh, so, uh, Bobby F. J-Town, I think you have a task. Yeah. So, so to... I, I have a task this week since, so, uh, right, wrong. Sir Lunch of Box isn't here. Yes. Uh, I am going to take Big PPC's email. Alright. I've... Uh, taken Rosetta Stone and I have learned Russian All accents. Right. All right. All right. Uh, so here we go. Wait, what? <clears throat> hey. Uh, uh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. I think you just had a stroke. Bobby might have had a stroke doing the big PPC mail. Work out. Okay, Work out. Go. Okay. Take All two. right. Wait, you know, here, hold on. Hold on. You know, there you go. Ah. Hey, 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 it's me, it's me, it's Big PPC, the motherfucking fan of the year. <laughs> I love how you said motherfucking. Raw was good, TNA not bad, uh, main event was decent, SmackDown was so-so, NXT has B-Swell. Verbatim but- good. <laughs> and Superstars is Hunky Dory. <laughs> so... Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks to Mania! You missed a few dots. Looking forward to Undercard. A short one this week because of Busy Week. Question of the week. If you could pick a veteran or legend to return as special guest referee, or timekeeper, or ring announcer for any match, 
match that is booked at Mania, who would it be? Mick Foley as special guest ref for Punk Taker match just for fun. Till next time, it's me, it's me, it's Big PPC. Take care, Mayhem Crew. Keep up great shows. Sent for my iPhone. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Big PPC. So, if you pick a veteran legend, return as a special guest ref or timekeeper or ring announcer for any match that's booked. What? Who would it be? I want to say, Christ. you know, and 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 which match? I got one. We got. Picture it, Chris Jericho mm -hmm. uh -huh. versus Fandango. Yeah. Uh -huh. As guest referee. Oh. Uh -huh. Rick the Model Martel. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh! I thought you were going to say Flash Funk. <laughs> uh, that would be okay too. But I, I think Rick the Model Martel would be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be fun. He, he kind of think... like Fandango's a modern day dancing Rick the Model Martel. I think. Yeah, I guess so. I guess yeah, a little so. bit, a little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, all right. You got one, Russell fan? Holy shit! Uh, that's a that's an interesting question. Uh, that lamp is causing brain damage. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, hell. They're gonna do bring they they love bringing in Mae Young to do stuff. Bring her in for Ryback and Mark Henry and have her. I don't know. Be put her don't on a pole. Fuck it. it. Put her on a pole. Fuck it. Oh no, Riz. Wait. Did you just say... No, 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 just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just it, move on. Just leave it alone. Don't go back to that. Come don't, on. don't go picture it, please. Oh, God. <laughs> she whipped out her tits in 2000. What more do you have to picture? <laughs> Anyways, Virgil. Just, just Virgil. As a spectator. As a special guest referee <laughs> special and special ring spectator. announcer. Because that would be the longest match in WrestleMania history. Against who? Or, 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 any match. What, any match. Any Which match. Which just feel long. Do it for the Divas it, match. Put, whatever. Put it, put it in the uh, the six man tag match, and he'll go on and on and on and on and on, asking about the score every five minutes, <laughs> and then he's gonna he's gonna try to get down on his knees and uh, make a pinfall, and he can't because he has no knees and he sucks. Moving on. What if? Well, first of all, I want to append my Flash Funk statement. I think it'd be more appropriate if he was uh, uh, maybe guest referee or whatnot for the. Uh, what looks like it's going to be the Funkadactyls and uh, <laughs> Brodus and Sweet Tea against uh, all the rest of those people. Oh, uh, the fact that he's being called Sweet Tea. Well, I think it's kind of awesome. Was it? <laughs> Albert, whatever. Okay, let's, let's make a count here. Wrestle fan, that's one. <laughs> You're mad um, at one thing. You need to have a counter. But um, I think more appropriately putting... Um, all right, I got. To, can, I, can I give you a couple? Uh huh. Uh, I I want to say Undertaker versus CM Punk, special guest enforcer, Ultimate Warrior. Um, just shake the ring to scare everyone. I just started thinking about like 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 who's Undertaker taking on that never really kind of came around, right? Um, and uh, you know, it, it, and uh, uh, more realistically ish, uh, let's do uh, The Rock and Cena uh, with uh, Stone Cold as referee. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Or you can actually you can throw a Stone Cold at the Taker CM Punk one. That probably fit in a little better. <laughs> or do ring. that? That what you said just made me think. And do Undertaker and CM Punk bring in Nathan Jones and have him be like, <laughs> "I never got to wrestle in that tag match with you that no one gave squirt, a fuck about." He can squirt milk everywhere. From where? <laughs> From where? Didn't, From didn't where? A lactation Bobby? problem. <laughs> What? The I, that's hell? a rumor. That's what? Rumor. I have no idea. Moving <laughs> on. Moving on. We have another email. I I'm still confused. I look this Na up. Nathan no, Jones can up. lactate. I guess so. Was that, was that why? why so uh, Australian guy. Uh, <laughs> Russell fan, can you read the zero mail, please? I oh. will, because that's the one I have up. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> hey. Oh. hey. Not only will he read it, you'll read it horribly because he can't roll his R's. It's, uh, it's not in Mexican. No, that's, that's the other one. That's the other one. <laughs> wait, wait, it's wait, not wait. in Mexican. That's the, that's the El Gran Azul. It, it's Spanish. <laughs> hey, 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 Mayhem Migos. This is Ciro, son of Ciro the Great, son of Ciro the Impaler, son of Ciro the Baker. Okay. <laughs> My raw review. 
I didn't watch Raw, but huh. I did find out about Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla taking on Fa Da Go at WrestleMania. Take Carly. Take Carly. Oh, Carly. God. You, you just uh, made Rizla, the great call. be jerking it. Um, I'm just thinking <laughs> that someone somewhere backstage is really, really high on Fandango right now to have him not only debut at WrestleMania, but against Chris Jericho, who we know only came back for the WrestleMania match. 20 years from now, people will look back at the card of WrestleMania 29 and see Chris Jericho versus Fandango, and no one will never, ever... <laughs> Understand what the fuckity fuck WWE was thinking when they booked that match. You guys want to remember when? What are other matches that you look back to in WrestleMania history and you just wonder why the hell did that match happen? In other news, TNA announced the new X Division rules, one of them being that all matches are now between three guys. I'm not an English major, actually, English is my second language. But doesn't imp- this imply that there won't be any fatal four-way matches, tag matches, battle royals either? What about Escape or Ultimate X that usually have more than three guys? Just think it, think it out a little bit more, TNA. Just a little bit more. Finally, I was supposed to email this last week but got really lazy. For those who may care, two weekends ago, AAA had their big Ray de Reyes event. In that event, it was announced that AAA will be splitting into two groups. AAA Fusion, that will work Mexico, lead it, led by Joaquin Roldan, uh, and AAA Evolution, that will start working the U.S., led by Dorian Roldan and likely Conan. Oh, I just want... Hmm? Oh, great. Oh, you're saying things over me. That's new. Um, I just wanted to bring this to the table. So AAA is a pretty big promotion, and now they'll be bringing their Lucha to the United States. Sounds like yet another promotion to follow, but this can be a great entry way to, for people that want to know more about Lucha, and consider considering that they may split the roster, this could mean the return to the U.S. guys like Jack Evans, Teddy Hart, L.A. Park, Macias, and others. By the way, I would like to take the time and this time and reconsider all the anal bleeding jokes we said about Lawler for now we know Sean X Pac Waltman suffered the very same injury this last weekend speedy wow. anus recovery my friend speedy anus recovery Layers mayhem zero out I wonder if it was like that cartoon what uh, the, by Don Hertzfeld my anus is bleeding oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. okay oh. okay wow <laughs> Somebody needs to put that together. Um, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I was kind of curious about the this Destination X change myself. Um, is it is it every X Division match or is it every X I Division? I think it's every title? match, regardless of if there's a title. There is which no less than three people. Which that's cool in the sense that that means that they probably should hire more people. <laughs> yeah, that means you get the unless fit we want to see Kenny show. King, Christian York, and Zima Ion wrestle every week, which I'm fine with. Well, but I mean, but then 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 how do you do? So number one contenders. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I think it's cool. I have something different. You know, it's I think it's the six sided ring of the division. You know, uh, mm-hmm. that that's fine. That's fine. So. Also, he has a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, about what WrestleMania matches looking back do you think why the hell did that ma- Yeah, and, I got one. And, and from the chat uh uh Mike already threw out Lesnar versus Goldberg. No, no, it's it's that, that made sense that it There's happened. It happened. It made sense that yeah. it happened, but it's it just kind it of spiraled. Match. So, sorry, uh, I got one. I got one. Mhm. Good. WrestleMania 9. Doink versus Crush. Mm. The high profile mm. feud from back where, in the day. Where, where Doink reveals that he has a clone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think hits him with a fake arm, if I recall. Yes. <laughs> but why the. Yeah, no. <laughs> like WrestleMania 9, the whole show. I liked WrestleMania 9. Fuck you. Yeah, the whole show. Mm-hmm. Um, what about you there, Bobby? You said you uh, got something. I'm, I'm going to say one that actually turned out to be not too bad, but why did it happen? Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow versus Lawrence Taylor. Damn it, you took my... <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> it! Why did it happen? All right. Why? All right, all right. How about you, Wrestle fan? Why did Salt and Peppa have to sing with when the intro? <laughs> <laughs> Why run DMC have to be a WrestleMania 5? 
Someone's angry. Uh, <laughs> Why did Limp Biscuit have to be at WrestleMania or whatever? Why is Limp Biscuit? We know y'all be loving this shit right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was your era. That's my that's my interpretation of Limp that Biscuit. was the song at his bar mitzvah. Uh, <laughs> the only time... <laughs> things you didn't know about Russell fan that I just made up. Jewish apparently. Um, wow. What I can think of, uh, looking back at like uh, sort of attitude era uh, WrestleMania was uh, there was a lot of weird ones like for the the because cha- they had like a shit ton of championships. Uh, the one I like to point out is uh, WrestleMania 17. Eddie Guerrero wrestled Test for some reason. <laughs> like that was a few that happened. Okay. Like okay. why? I don't even. I, I don't even know it. Uh, the, Wasn't it over the, a girl or something? Yeah. Also, the year before at WrestleMania 2000, uh, Test and Albert versus Head Cheese. <laughs> yeah, that was a great match. That was a great payoff though when they beat, beat up the Head Cheese. Yeah. It's so amazing. Excellent. Excellent. Um. Uh, you know, side note to that, I I, uh, I, uh, I was given the new uh, WWE magazine as a gift. Uh, I've been reading through that, and they had a bunch of stats. You know there's not a single singles match on WrestleMania 2000? There isn't. There is not. Oh. And, well, every and any singles match they did have had a stipulation to it. There was no straight, one-on-one, regular okay. wrestling match. All right, all right, all right. Um... Go along. That <laughs> uh, oh crap! I forget we'll later. Ah, oh, some of a. Oh, hey, how about King Kong Bunny versus Special Delivery Jones? Okay. And moving on. <laughs> I like the random shot of Russell Fan there. <laughs> I, just, I, I was like, I need to go to something. Special Delivery Jones and Russell Fan. And that's, that's, my, that's my porn <laughs> name. That is stuff. your new Delivery name. Jones. <laughs> What's up, King Kong Bunny? We got one more before the email that's read with my voice. Yeah. From someone you'll see. Greetings, Mayhemers, old and new. Some of you know me very well. Others are sitting under my learning tree for the first time. So let me uh, open your eyes to the world that is Vim. I will, uh, disclaimer now, I am not reading this in the appropriate British accent that it should be written in, (laughs) that has been written in. A fan for decades, the first international guest speaker on the show, check January 2007, and the consultant, oh god, that was so long ago, (laughs) and the consultant (laughs) on all things both medical and, of course, all things of refinement. Uh, I said I would be back following the Rumble, and I have been. I have many opinions, but I begin, as all real men should, by greeting the host who celebrates with us his day of birth. Uh, this is a good, if not great, man, I shouldn't be reading this one. Uh, all who listen know that this man has been doing this for years and has brought you into his circle. You all owe him. Happy birthday, Sorg. Yay! (laughs) No, 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 it's not ring, not ring! Bring it forward! That's all I can sing. So here we are again. Yeah, Coming to up to the biggest show of the year with several issues to discuss. Having a part-time champion is no good, and him having the new belt means that I haven't had a chance to adjust to it, as I uh, just have not seen it. Uh, I, I was very sad to see that they did not go back to the old undisputed belt, but there you go, that's the decision, and we'll have to get used to it. Uh, Raw has has not been good, uh, but this last segment this week has done a lot to increase my interest in Mania, but John Cena missed a brick. There was another line for him to say that would have changed the atmosphere of the whole encounter. Quote, Of course The Rock didn't beat me, and I beat myself. That was the only choice he had. I have been here doing this week in and week out for 10 years, going through knee, knee injuries, torn pectoral muscles, and a broken effing neck. Here I am, and here I stand. How can The Rock even think that his history is enough on its own to beat me? I'm younger, faster, stronger uh, than he was, and I do this. I live this. I don't arrive in a jet plane for a few weeks here and a few weeks there in between working out and kissing ass in Hollywood. The WWE Universe... The WWE Universe? I think I missed an inflection there. Uh, I am the WWE Universe. And whether the fans in the stands realize it or not, 
I am defending them. I am defending their company. I am defending their business, and I am defending their house. There are the there are the WWE universe, and I am they are. I'm sorry, the WWE universe, and I am the WWE universe, and The Rock is not. I'm sorry. Realize has an S instead of Z, and it really throws me off. It's a British thing. Uh, <laughs> You will respect his culture. I will respect your culture across respect the pond. Okay, head. more than yeah. more than a line, but but that story uh, uh, it makes sense, and uh, there, there's more that. more of a drop of reality in it. Uh, with that, everyone is compelled to buy the show. No one is a bigger fan of The Rock than me. Back in '97, matches by him and Austin and Triple H had me off my seats days after reconstructive knee surgery. This is the way uh, to take the feud to the next level. I'm glad that Lesnar is back, but I really hope he w- I really hope he wins as his return has been blighted by frequent losses by the monster. Uh, hasn't he had two matches? Who, is he running fifty fifty right now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it would be fun if he was losing to uh, up and comers, but he isn't. He's losing to guys that do not need the rub, uh, so the whole thing does not make sense. Why do this? Yes, you got one time big, g- but but then nothing. It's short sighted. Uh, the tag team situation is terrible. Good teams like the Usos, Colons, Brodus, and Tensai, Team Road Scholars, as well as the primetime <laughs> players. Wait, 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 hey, 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 hey. hey. Brodus and Tensai is a good team. No, no, no. no. It's before that, Sork. <laughs> So say that. Say I that. I was gonna let it slip, that, and then I just start giggling. Say that team again. Yeah. Say Colons? the one after the Usos. Col- <laughs> Col- Col- this Col- is Cologne. This is shouldn't there be a G then? No. no. We always call there, there them. There should the be as uh, one of those squiggly <laughs> ones. Oh yeah, team players. It's Carlito. It's Car- Mysterio. Uh, uh, note: I did not say Big E and Ziggy. Uh, I, I, to have a, a debut match at the biggest show is a good way to ensure the character cannot succeed. Uh, this way, they are part of the biggest show, but not holding them off uh, from having any matches means that we don't know uh, what we're getting, and that rarely gives a value to the fan. Uh, if they do not feel uh, the performer is up to keep them off the show, uh, putting on that stage is not giving them an opportunity to do. Uh, well, but it is a way to hot shot the booking and uh, get a good buy rate without developing your stars of tomorrow. Discuss. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, no, Indeed. yeah, yeah. I think it is a little weird with the Fandango and the uh, Fandango and uh, the Big E thing uh, really kind of debuting at Mania. That, that's well, to weird. be honest, the I, way I... Go ahead. The way, <laughs> the way I see it, like... Am I the only one that thinks the Jericho Fandango thing is going to be like a Daniel Bryan and Sheamus thing? I hope not, because I... What, do you remember? Because it's like, it's like, I forgot who said it in the email, but it's like, they put that much trust in Johnny Curtis to give him a WrestleMania match against Chris you know Jericho. What? You know, I you think know Jericho's going to pull I'm, a good match out of him. <laughs> I'm he glad doesn't you mean brought pull this up. Oh, okay. Riz? I'm glad you brought this up, because I, I think Fandango's not going to wrestle. <laughs> I Because... Th- Remember in Pittsburgh, he brought out all the big things like the 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 lighting and the yeah. pyro and all that. Yeah. Uh, biggest stage of them all, WrestleMania. They say his name wrong. Walks out. Now, that would that would make me. Now, I, I if they do that, I think it would be a shame to Jericho. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah kinda I want to see. I want to see Jericho wrestle. But then, then some. There has to be some reaction. There has to be something else happens. Like Jericho mm-hmm. pulls him back, or something like yeah. that. Or later in the show, but he just so, drags him down to have a match or something. Right? They don't have as many matches as they had when they had the 18 second Dan O'Brien Kane thing. They're not Kane thing. And also, uh, think about. Do, have you looked I... at the card for WrestleManias like in the mid 90s? There's mm-hmm. a lot of trash on there. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's so, the thing with the tag team title crushed. match. I have a strong feeling that they're going to make that the uh, the uh, pre-show match. You never know. You never know. Um, Doink versus Crush. They got plenty of other people they can throw in the. Well, they're going to have an hour pre-show too. Crush can't be at WrestleMania. No, no he can't. No. Well, okay. So okay, back to the email. Yeah, great job, Bobby. Back to the email. Okay, <laughs> I'm not angry anymore. 
I do have several questions for you to spark your own discussion that make your show what it is. One, which former WWE talent is most missed? The answer is MVP. I saw MVP tweeting about his taxes being his greatest enemy today. Um, (laughs) How do they do something interesting with the Kofi character? Will 3MB have a future in independent wrestling once they have an inevitable release? How will Jericho succeed to put Fandango over? I am sure he will do so. I think we talked a little bit about that. Uh, What will happen when it starts raining during the event in two weeks? I will cry because I'm in the upper bowl. Um... (laughs) His tears will soak through the rain. Does Ziggler cash in? What will Vim predict as results? Find out next week. Deepest regards to old friends, new guys. Uh, get only a head nod of acknowledgement. Vim. You, you know go. what? Sword? I want to see. Yeah. Sword. Yeah. Back at you. Head nod. Head mm-hmm. nod. Mm-hmm. All right, question number one. Uh, well, we talked about Fandango. I don't want to get more into that. Uh, which former WWE talent is most missed? Most missed? I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Keep I want to see uh, MVP feud with Jackson Hewitt. I want to go back to it. Angle needs to come back. <laughs> yeah. Think... Angle, Angle needs that final yeah. run to, I think to, he needs to, a final to put it on his career, you know? <laughs> I, I go back to the Angle needs to come back one more one last time. One last small run and then Hall of Fame. Boom. There you go. It just yeah. needs to be... Eddie Guerrero. Yes, Eddie Guerrero. Um, well, okay, yeah, in, in theoretical uh, terms. But I think the one the one I ca- that comes to my mind, and I think we're going to talk about this person later uh, in the roundtable, uh, Chris Masters, mm-hmm. because b- both for the fact that, you know, He's Superman. When, he first, w- well, when he was first in WWE, he was very much, like, on the droid sort of, yeah, like, yeah, thing. He yeah. was way too huge, and he now was he just having problems with that. trees out of the ground. <laughs> He was right. The, he left the company. He was and on came the back steroids. and got healthy, and he was looking good, and he was looking healthy, and you know, good. Yeah, and then yeah. they fired him. Yeah, it could be something okay. else too. Because so. well, yeah, nobody, but I think he has potential, and you know, nobody could, be could break the master lock. Nobody. Yep. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, 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 ignore the the really uh, swole black dude that was nobody doing MMA now. Forget that guy. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys. You guys are probably going to disagree with my choice. Um, I'd love to see Mr. Kennedy back in WWE. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with yes. you. Yes, yes. I I want to see Mr. Kennedy, not Mr. Anderson. No, Mr. Kennedy. No. I I, I can hear I can hear it in Russell fans' voice. He's going to argue <laughs> with this. I'm saying I'm, enough, and and I know I don't mean I, to be the angry one, and, no, but I, Mr. Kennedy, for all he for all of the injury prone and. He was injury prone and all that. He, him on the mic. Oh yeah, was mm-hmm. the best mm-hmm. we've ever mm-hmm. I've ever seen, and most unique person I've seen on the mic. As Mr. Kennedy. As Mr. Kennedy. See, as Mr. He... Anderson, as Mr. Anderson in TNA, he sucks. I think I know. You, I, know well, I know. A lot of you guys haven't like been following a lot of TNA. You know, in the past couple years, Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Anderson, the same person. Uh, no, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I uh, interject? I no, think no. what's happening now. Unfortunately, the problem with TNA, as far as characters go, is they don't develop. Kurt Angle is the same Kurt Angle he was three years ago. There, Mr. Anderson is the same Mr. Anderson that he was three years ago. But now, he has, he, except but he has a except he's a biker, but he's still the same guy. <laughs> as a character, he still he has not developed. Whereas I no. think WWE does push that idea of developing mm-hmm. you and evolving you. I I just think TNA is not the environment for something like that until they start yeah. doing something like whatever they're doing with like AJ Styles now, a Bully Ray. They're very very few special cases where that where that has happened and worked. You know, I, I think I, Jeff Hardy's just a mess over there. Well, uh, well that's uh, for other reasons. He's a mess, a mess in his in real general, life, too. So, yeah, but I, but exactly. I think, so definitely, about, you know, the whole development uh, thing. But a lot of times, I don't think WWE, you don't necessarily need development to be a big thing in WWE. Look at The Rock. Well, you don't think he got coached by the best over there? Well, no, but he is, he's the same character he was in 98 yeah but that he's plateaued he doesn't he's brought back he was, he's, he's back not, because he, people want to see the rock of 98 that's, that's why he's but, here right now i know i know if john cena point. left today and came back five years from now they would want to see the john cena of today because that's what they remember and that's what they miss we don't well, stone you know stone cold okay there's a difference no, between I, hitting a plateau in your character eddie guerrero wasn't 
going to develop a- any differently. Everybody was cheering for him, whether he was uh, uh, cheating or not. Uh, Ric Flair is getting, you know, doesn't need to do anything to evolve his character because yeah. he's doing it for too damn long. Stone Cold is where Stone Cold is. Rock is where Rock is. Triple H doesn't need, my, you know, a whole lot for evolution here. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, I think that's different versus something like Mr. Anderson Kennedy was very early in his career. Kurt mm-hmm. Angle, not to that point yet himself. Uh, and, and, I, I, you know, I think some guys Kurt like Ang- that kind of wrestle on their laurels. Give you on Kurt Angle because Kurt Angle's had development. Mm. He's been, he's done the, yeah. you know, sort of comedy. Yeah, but stuff the, but Kurt Angle, and if Kurt Angle stuck around, he'd be at the Stone Cold point. He's not. Now he's just wrestling on being Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's um, not, and that's not good enough to be a Hall of Famer at this point. Okay. Going back to the Mr. Kennedy thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, people not from Pittsburgh probably don't don't know this, but as Mr. <laughs> Kennedy. On um, our friend Mike and Bob's radio show, he sh- he flushed a sub down a toilet <laughs> as Mr. Kennedy, and he did the Mr. Kennedy voice in the bathroom, and it echoed everywhere. It was amazing. It was it was amazing. One of my favorite things they've ever done. Oh man, I have to see those. I I've never kn- I didn't know about yeah, those. That's awesome. Um, like we gotta move on here though. Uh, uh-huh. other, um, what you um, got? Real quick. Oh, you guys are hands up. Yes, I didn't do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, who was I? Who would I pick? Tavari. I don't know. Tavari. Yeah, Tavari. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a guy that needs another chance. Yep. I'd love to see Armando too. Uh, you know, guys like that. Muhammad Hassan. Oh, yeah. no. well, even Lashley. Why I think not? Lashley's far gone. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Ashley's gone. Yeah. Uh, the Ziggler cash in. It would be disappointing if he didn't at this point. Yeah. I don't think he will. Yeah. Well. Actually, they they have a tendency with Money in the Bank guys to where they have them like sort of right under the radar, so you don't know. Yeah, yeah, you haven't been hearing about that too much lately. Think yeah. about like they're like, oh, we're just got the briefcase. Don't worry about that. He's got tag team match. Uh, He's gonna I, lose to Jericho think, over here. Don't worry about that. I think, I think he's going to do what he tried to do at WrestleMania, or with with the briefcase. Hmm. He's going to try to go the whole year. Mm, that's not he's so go- special because it's not WrestleMania the whole year. Yeah, he's going to go still, to the next year's Money in the Bank. still the entire year. I can't see that guy going to anything but a sneak attack at this point. Um, what will happen when it starts raining? Uh, with the, we are, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's also, will 3MB have any future in independent wrestling once they're never going to be released? <laughs> yes. I think so. You know what? Drew, well, Drew think- McIntyre is going to go to TNA, first of all. <laughs> there you well, go. Well, yeah, it, it, that's the exception if they don't go to TNA. I think they can make a, a pretty decent, you know, thing on the independents. You know, if Matt Hardy's fucking getting bookings, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, I think the three MB the people that enjoy signs at WrestleCon. I can, yeah. I can see, and, I, I can see Shikara picking them up. Yeah, three uh, MB versus three M- count indie feud, please at King of 3MB Trios versus at King like, of Trios. Marchie, Archie, and some other guys. Exactly. But, uh, like, I, I, think, I, think, I think the people that like the three-man band, like myself, are the ones that are going to go to independent wrestling shows. Yes, yes. Just like you want to go see the one, two, three kid at Chikara kind of thing, right? Not, no, not, you don't want to do that anymore. Huh? <laughs> He, well, no. Well, what? no, not anymore. No, not anymore. But I think, uh, well, I don't think Heath Slater's ever going to get fired. He's good. I, like, I he's really he's good. good. He's good. He's good at being a... He's, he's good at being a jobber. Brawler. He really is good at being a jobber. It makes you hate him. And, you know, he's one of those guys I think that can make a career losing, you know. Mm-hmm. And as long as you're making the big WWE check, you know, that's a career, you know. I could see him giving just a like, push Just like, I feel like the same that Santina has, has settled into that comedy character. And he, they have a Saturday morning show, so Heath Slater and Santina that's will always have jobs, comment. as far as I'm concerned. And so. he's kid-friendly, too, pretty much. And he's kid-friendly. As long as he they don't lose. Do, yeah. And as long as I do do anything uh, stupid, uh, career-wise. Uh, I don't know about the kid-friendly thing. Those leather pants are pretty tight. A little bit. A little bit skeptical. <laughs> he is hanging out with... 3MB Kim versus 123Kid, Marty Janetti, and Hakushi. Oh. Hmm. All right, I, moving I, I on. I uh, will Vim predict the results? I certainly hope so. And I think that's all the emails. We got one voicemail. Uh, I it's did not hook up that thing. So you have to give me a moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Ill preparedness. I forgot to hook up the Sorg. soundboard. Sorg, what are you doing? I'm 
forgetting how to run a podcast. But still, so, oh this this voicemail, I I personally haven't listened to it, so I think it's probably going to be the best voicemail ever. This can't be the right one. Is this the right one? Hold on. It's probably the only one we have, Sorg. I know what I'm talking about, TNA. No, nope. no, no, that's nope. not it. That's nope. not that's it. Last week. Hold we on. love you, Bo Diggity, but no. <laughs> this, oh, it's this one. It's got to be this one. Hold on. Delivery, da, da, da. Delivery has failed going to... Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, this is the proper voicemail. Police recommend you protect your home. If you will allow us to place a small sign in your yard, we will install a new security system at absolutely no cost to you whatsoever. There wow. is no cost for the system or the installation whatsoever. Whatsoever. To hear more, press 1 now. Uh, press 1. On Sword, press 1. Press I, nine. I, there's no 1. It's a touch screen. Press I, 1. Hey. I, no, what what uh, does what, she think about wait, wrestling? Now, wait, now, now, so now the, wait, we're, we're this, gonna give us, are they threatening us? No. You Sword. need to secure your facility. <laughs> are they threatening the Mayhem show? So no. I think she's what hitting it, on me. What it will do. I, I, I can't tell, but I think, I think, yeah, should, I, should, should, should maybe, I, I don't want, I don't want to play it off. Should I, should I ask her? Should I, should I see if, you know. Get that cookie, wrestle fan. I, I, <laughs> yes! I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous now. I, just say, I, I, I just just call back and say, I'd like to put a sign of security in your front lawn. <laughs> uh, uh, That's a little forward, Sorg. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's a little forward. Oh, no, there's a number attached to this. You can call back. We should call I'm back. I'm pretty we'll, we'll sure this is the Jericho personal security system. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just going to bring Ralphus up. That's to amazing. That's amazing. Dude, let's stand no, there. no, no call him back so we can get Ralphus and just have him have him stand behind Sorg. I Ralphus. think we should not call him back and go on ninja. to the Third indie call. minute with the Wrestle fan. Hey, are you enjoying this show here on the Sorgatron Media Network? Uh, straight from Pittsburgh, PA. Did you know there's a bunch of other videos coming from Pittsburgh? And there's one source where you can find everything Pittsburgh-based so you can represent the Steel City and see people who do represent the Steel City. Go to our friends over at PittsburghOnVideo.org, a big aggregator of these, this great stuff coming from the Steel City on video to you wherever you are around the world. That's PittsburghOnVideo.org. Go check it out. So we're going to play X-Men now. Oh, okay. Virus. Uh, so I'm things gonna... happened in the PA area uh, this weekend for uh, RWA Renegade Wrestling Alliance uh, for their Up awesome the event, PA. March to Victory Five, not March to Gold Five. Um, cash cash, cash for gold. gold, not cash, or cash for gold. gold. That's that's next month. Um, but uh, Sork was there. Uh, Sork, how'd it go? Sork. <laughs> Great Obviously, Great it went well. Uh, <laughs> commercial. No, rwalive.com if you want uh, the results for that. But no, it was our show. I mean, it wasn't, uh, uh, you know, nothing real crazy or nothing. But uh, the, they had a four-way uh, uh, cruiserweight match with G-Raver and a bunch of guys. I don't know. So uh, you, said, you said it's not, nothing crazy happened? Something what crazy else? happened. What, what? Which crazy part? Don't we have a new champion? Over There's there? a new champion. Kato! 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 Now we're blogging Kato, as I put over on the on the Facebook. Yeah, he blogs. He, he does, like, like my boring wrestling stories or something like that, which I'm like, well, I didn't That's ex- awesome. I didn't expect that from Kato, you know? It's a Kato. blog spot. That's cool. Um, but no, no, go check it out if you're kind of interested. Uh, I, I have a feeling it's only going to be interesting to, like, old-time PA area fans. Uh, but, you know, it, it's out there, you know? It's always interesting to see what these guys, you know, have on their minds. Um, but no, it was an it was an alright show. I, I'm liking some of the new faces they they have coming in. Um, uh, this uh, 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 DC Bentley is a big. This Dave Daniels guy, uh, Frankie Villa was an interesting Fandango so, sort of guy. John Schuyler uh, is really decent. Uh, he he come like the first time he came out in a tag team match, he like walked on his hands out the out the curtain, you know. So and he does cool uh, flippy stuff out there. Uh, hey. Really cool dude, uh, uh, Gabriel Soul, but I don't know what they're doing with him because he, he kind of dropped out his first match. But he's got he he kind of has a pretty cool look to him. So again, just kind of like uh, you know, there's um, you know somebody said to me like you know there's a lot of new guys and there's not really a lot of storylines going on you know as far as like the lower end stuff. So I don't know what they're doing there. Um, uh, but uh, uh, Lodi Ryan Edmonds was real decent. Um, I am loving. There was almost a fight at ringside when, of course, you know Ryan Mitchell had had turned heel and 
now joined the Ryans, the circle as they're called, uh, okay. again. And I had uh, a certain old mayhem join me this uh, past weekend, uh, one Chad the Shad. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm trying to get him because I can keep you. Uh, not replacing it. Out for that. It's about this uh, midget wrestling thing. Uh, so, so there's that. Uh, but, but yeah, I was like, yeah, this crowd gets pretty interesting, right? And then there's like, there was almost a physical, like, really, yeah, that that about went down. Like, security had to withhold this guy uh, from 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 attacking the wrestler. Nice. Uh, so, but that the but the Ryan the Ryan Edmonds is fantastic with this stuff. Go go look up Ryan Edmonds and check out his Facebook. Uh, it's just hate. Hate, <laughs> hate to him, hate from him. It is um, if you. It, it, bigger incident without guardrails at this show. So other local news: PWX Wrestling, who is like freaking doing bi-weekly shows because I think they might be a little bit insane. Uh, uh, two <laughs> things. They have their shows up. You can check out the first like minute or two of those shows I've been talking about on Twitter and last week here. Uh, but they're they're like selling them for 10 bucks a piece for half hour shows. Oh. Like, what is that? Uh, but it, also interesting, they're going to have Honky Tonk Man on uh, their big Berg Brawl uh, show awesome. coming up next month. Honky I think it is man. this coming month. Awesome. Which, which this is this is one of those groups that like it felt like they're all homegrown talent. You know what I mean? But um, but like I mentioned last week, like there's a lot of different like like guys from Ohio and stuff kind of popping in. It's not just like these are the Pittsburgh guys that are doing this on the weekend. It was the feel, you know? So I, I'm I'm keeping an eye on PWX. I, I think I think something cool might be happening there. Uh, so, so yeah, keep it up, pwxtv.com if you want to go check that out. Uh, there's actually something for you to see, fantastically. Uh, also, talk to those, uh, fine folks with, uh, Vicious Outcast Wrestling that I attended last month. They are, somebody got a message, sorry about that. <laughs> um, they are doing DVDs, so, uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, I told them if they need anything help with promotion or anything we talk about here on the show. Really enjoy the show. He showed me, actually, the trailer's online. If you look up Vicious uh, Outcast Wrestling, it should be on their Facebook page by now. Um, the stuff looked good. They were using uh, some of those little DSLR ca cameras uh, with these really cool kind of rigs. So, you know, me, the video guy, was I was watching, like, oh, I wonder how that's going to turn out because I know there, there could be some issues with focus and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess they're doing DVDs, Blu rays, the whole thing. Uh, so, I. <laughs> wrestling here in the P. Officious Outlaw Wrestling. <laughs> Or did I say it wrong? Uh, oh, yeah, you just messing with me in the chat room. Um, anyways, so that's what's coming on in the PA area. Uh, I think even K KSWA, uh, who uh, uh, it was old Lord's old tan friend of the show, Johnny Axe down there. I think they even had a show this past weekend. So awesome, uh, and they always have a pretty hot crowd. Like kind of, it, it feels it sounds like it's very similar to what we have out in West Newton as well. So that's all going on in the PA report of the Indies. Yeah, let's move a little bit further uh, to Ohio. Yay! Uh, <laughs> not too far. Um, but uh, we've mentioned before on the show, good friends at Absolute Intense Wrestling, AIW. Uh, they've been doing a lot of great stuff, uh, putting together a lot of great shows. They have their Gauntlet for the Gold 8 event coming up, which should be a really interesting one. But the thing I do want to mention uh, is they made a couple announcements uh, on their Twitter this past week. Uh, the first, uh, the main one being that uh, for the second year in a row, they are bringing back the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament, nice. uh, which is a big tournament for them. Uh, for those of that know, JT Lightning, uh, who passed away over a year ago, uh, was a very influential part of the Ohio uh, independent wrestling scene. He trained a lot of guys, uh, a lot of friends of the show that yes. we've had on have been trained by uh, JT, um, and he was very, very influential in the Ohio area. Uh, and so they had, so they started the tournament last year in um, memoriam of JT Lightning. Uh, it was a great success, uh, two night uh, tournament, very awesome stuff. A lot of the best independent talent from all over the world came into a uh, wrestle for this invitational tournament. Uh, they made two uh, interesting announcements about the tournament. The first being that, uh, in for the first time, and this is sort of groundbreaking, I think, for independent wrestling. Uh, AIW has been sort of branching out and being uh, more accepting and more prominent in featuring uh, the best female athletes. And, you know, they do their Girls Night Out events all the time. Vega Scott is one half of their uh, AIW Tag Team Champions with Gregory Iron, you know, uh, mixed tag team being tag team champions. You know, it's big stuff. 
Uh, but they made the announcement that uh, in this tournament, ev- uh, every bracket will feature a female competitor. Hmm. So uh, there will be a uh, female competitor in every bracket. So that's 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 um, influential stuff. You know, that, we're going to see a lot of indie gender stuff. Uh, you know, the, from the, the from the talent I've seen them bring in, like you know, Allison K, Haley Hatred, tons of girls that you know are you know accustomed to that kind of stuff, and you know they do it well. And I I I am interested to see how that tournament uh, turns out. It should be a really fun one. Uh, but the big announcement was for a huge uh, non-tournament match that was announced for night two of the JT Lightning Invitational. Uh, you guys know Jock Sampson, right? <laughs> Some Friend more of the than Wrestling others. Man Show. Some more than others. Yeah, Chachi. Um, Friend of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Great guy. We had him on here. Uh, he's uh, uh, embracing his southern, you know, southernness. Uh, he's he, awesome in independent wrestling. He wished wrestling. me a happy birthday yesterday without kicking me in, in the nuts on Facebook. He did. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, he's got a big match for night two of the tournament. Oh. He is facing. Huh? None other than. Oh. Tracy Smothers. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Somebody got to die. Tracy. Somebody got to die. Smothers. Oh, my God. I wonder if he's off his skulls again. All right. So go check them out, AIWrestling.com. Follow them on Twitter because they will be posting more stuff about the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament. And that will be in May, so go check them out and uh, uh, go support them in the Ohio area. Uh, And I opened it up actually to the Facebook page. Uh, I wanted to know what people wanted to talk about uh, on the Indie Minute. Uh, So I ran through some stuff. Alex Carr said to briefly mention Cole Cabana's Worst Promo Ever series, which mm-hmm. Cole Cabana has a series called Worst Promo Ever. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> it's good. It's really funny. I really enjoy it. I actually like the concept. Oh, because wow. You he got does a lot it. of stuff on here. Oh, yeah. He yeah, does, it's been up he for does, a while. He wow. does a great job of he, – yeah, and because what he does, he actually does it to incorporate the events that he's going to be working for. You know, it's a good way to, you know, promote yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. And, you yeah. know, it's it's a really funny stuff. Him and Marty DeRosa do an awesome job with that. So uh, you can check that out. I believe it's Colt Cabana Wrestling on YouTube uh, his, where you can find all that stuff. His old his old series, too. Oh, well, it got too tall for my shot. Uh, the, uh, I need a slouch. Uh, the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Creative, creative has, has Nothing For yeah, You. Creative Has Nothing For You is supposed to be very good as well. And I've been meaning to check out his, uh, his uh, like, what was it, $5 audio commentary? With like no holes barred wrestling. and suburban commando and stuff, it's like oh, I need to pick those up. Especially since <laughs> I, I picked up that no holes barred, it'll be perfect to kind of to go along with it, right? It's like two mm-hmm. bucks or something. To, I think he says on the podcast. So, uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I and mean, if you're not listening to art of wrestling, what the hell are you doing? Yes, <laughs> you you need it's it is it, you know you can get off of like him him talking about his like dates and stuff, uh, but but like the interviews that he has, you can go right back to the beginning and it's worth it. Trust me. Mm-hmm. So. Absolutely. Uh, also, uh, Sorg mentioned to talk about midget wrestling. Hey, Sorg. There was a flyer for midget wrestling at the RWA show. It's in some town I never heard of. I'm trying to get Chachi to go. Uh, but it's WrestleMania yeah. weekend, I think. Is uh, is uh, your friend going to be there? I did ask that. It looks like everybody but. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so go to it, wherever the hell it is. Yeah, Sorg's not going to be called an asshole. No, if you're like in, I guess, the southwestern PA area, so see if we can find some midget wrestling. It's supposed to be the guys from, like, the show. The half Brawler brother show, I guess. So. Awesome. Wait, they still uh, have a show? No, I don't think they still I have a show. I don't know if show, it's still on. But they're still okay. running the promotion, I believe. Yeah. Or at least getting bookings, I don't know. Uh, and the last thing was Tony O'Garza. We should Lundman's... have that guy on the show. Yeah, we, sh- we should. Uh, Tony Ogarza, uh wanted to mention the big news story in indie wrestling this week. Sean Moulton <laughs> ripped up his anus. Ripped up his <laughs> anus? Is this a video of it happening? No, I, don't th- I think you're All on the right. wrong page. They- well, no, he, was at the, uh, he was at a big event uh, is in Is it on TMZ? <laughs> is-, is it made TMZ, really? Oh, my God, wow. it's on TMZ. Hold on, I'll play the video. Go ahead. Well, uh... Uh, is there video that is... Explain, explain, explain. Okay. Well, uh, this was at the... Uh, in Minneapolis uh, this past weekend for the uh, Jerry Lynn retirement show, the official retirement show for Jerry Lynn. Uh, he, I believe, wrestled Jerry. Mm, that uh, doesn't look like Jerry Lynn. Is that Jerry Lynn? I, I, I wasn't sure who he was facing. Some, some bald dude in, a, in face paint. That, that looks right. Um, but, yeah, he went for a... Oh, no! Uh, bron- he went for a Bronco Buster in the corner... Which features a lot of its asshole. He missed it. 
Oh. And apparently uh, that uh, led to very bad results. Yeah, it, looked, it looked like the turnbuckle itself that came turnbuckle off not and left the, the the metal there, and it doesn't it didn't know that Ow. hurts. Yeah. So Sean uh, Waltman, uh, we uh, wish a speedy recovery to your butthole. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know see. I know it's been through a lot of injuries, uh, more specifically with China. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with her yeah, lady. Uh, just with just, her lady just, dick. Put some ice on that thing, bro. Just ice it. X-Pac, busting his butt for pro wrestling since 1993. None of that's true. <laughs> oh, man, that's ridiculous. Well, I guess there was, like, a match later. No, it's it Jerry Lynn in this part, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't understand what's happening in this shot. I think Jerry Lynn just shows up and then just beats him up more while he's already in pain or something. I don't know. I don't understand anything that's happening there. Um, all right. Anything else there, sir? That is all I have. Fantastic. In the wrestling. With that, guys, thank you. And uh, let's go uh, uh, see what's going on in gold. A little bit of humor and a little bit something called the <laughs> Montreal Theory. Yeah. been a school wrestle fan for what? the privilege to have 10 minutes on the black and green Apple IIe to play our Math Blasters in our Oregon Trails. So, I got a lamp. Time out. You look like you're in a professional studio. I am not. Or a Norman really Rockwell not. painting. Did, Check this did stuff you... Out. You got a haircut. You know, or pillows. like... Crazy, crazy Taxi. That was a good game from Sega. Remember that? I'm not doing that. Happen. I'm get some- the Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by Internet Porn, because nobody really wants to fuck you. Could this have all been a grand plot between Vince and Brett. There is documented written evidence that Brett and Vince discussed doing the screw job a week before it happened. I think this is this is a contrived plan. It was the greatest work and the greatest fraud ever put on pro wrestling. Everybody in the situation stood the gain from what happened. They're screwing Time Warner out of $9 million. And when the person who was the real architect passes away, I'm allowed to give the rest of the story. Everything was on the table and open for discussion at that point. Eventually something was going to explode. I thought that was the beginning of the, uh, was the, beginning of the plan. A thousand people see things one way and one see it differently and the one person may be correct. There's no payoff because there's no money. There was. There was a three-year payoff. Best work in wrestling are usually based on shoot. It is still making money. I think Vince wanted to get punched by Bret Hart. The hell I saw him and he took a dive. They're going to be so mad at Vince McMahon for screwing over, they're going to turn on the show and watch him get his ass beat by Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was the perfect launching. It was perfect. Wrestling with Shadows provided a perfect narrative for the way they wanted these characters ended up to be presented. You're telling me that things were so bad that Vince couldn't wait for that documentary to be done before telling Brad I can't pay you. Many very prominent people thinks it is very likely it was a work. I think it was a work. I think that it's quite possible. I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Vince and Brett were in on it. Let's work the entire world and create the biggest controversy ever. I think the only possible way that there ever could have been a conspiracy is if the you believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. Montreal caused so much good to happen to the WWE. Truth is really stranger than fiction. Welcome back. Uh, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. That uh, that preview right there, if you're on the audio, that was for the Montreal Theory uh, coming out uh, April 
5th, I think is the date there. Uh, it'll be over at WrestleCon. We'll be selling those at the Sorgatron Media slash Outsword Announcing slash uh, IWC and Prime Wrestling booth slash Joe Dombrowski's uh, gimmick table. Um, but yeah, you can go check us out there with all the fine stuff going on uh, at WrestleMania weekend uh, outside of the WWE. Uh, so let's go remember when it, it, it's uh, it's time. and We're, we'll, we're going to see what exactly is going to be the go-home moment, what exactly is going to be the thing that makes all those people buy the pay-per-view next week if they have not already. They're like the undecided voters that we were so legendary in the election last year. Um, but, so, let's remember when. So what is the, the thing that, that made you uh, kind of get excited for a WrestleMania in particular? Uh, for me, uh, they actually played one of them a few weeks ago uh, when they were getting all their movie stuff going uh, for WrestleMania. Uh, I, I really enjoyed WrestleMania 21. It was WrestleMania Goes Hollywood was the theme of the year. Um, and, and leading up to it, they had these tremendous promos, these, these, uh, oh, yeah. these skits they did, these reenactments of movies. Uh, they had what was it? I think it was uh, Kurt Angle and Chrissy Hemme doing the the Everyone Harry Met Sally. Sally. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, JBL and John men. Cena doing a few good men. Uh, Pulp Fiction with uh, wasn't it Eddie and Booker? Yeah, uh, doing that. I mean, great stuff. And great then stuff. everybody doing Taxi Driver. Yeah, yeah, everybody doing Taxi Driver with the you talking to me and everything. Uh, Titan Rake. It, 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 I actually to the point. I have the WrestleMania like box set right. Uh, and it concludes WrestleMania 21. It's kind of like a bonus pack, and I'm very sad that those are not included with the disc. Uh, I've often considered getting that, like the whole like three, four disc, whatever set, um, uh, you know, just to see if I can get th- that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so yeah, that was the thing that, you know that I really, really enjoyed, kind of going into a, a WrestleMania for sure. That still kind of sticks in my head again. You know, almost ten years later, eight years later, I guess it is. So, uh, so there's that. So, uh, what, what do you guys got? I got one. Okay. Go on, go ahead. This was the uh, this was actually the year before that. Um, and this is and it wasn't necessarily anything that happened like on a Raw, but it, I remember they played a special after Raw uh, for before WrestleMania 20, uh, which was I don't know if they, this was part of the special, but I know it was included on the DVD afterwards. Was uh, Ric Flair going over the top? WrestleMania matches for the 20 years, mm-hmm. which that was really cool. But they also did a documentary on WrestleMania 19 and like the whole setup and all the stuff that was going into it, and like you know just featuring ton of back tons of backstage footage and you know everything that went into making you know WrestleMania what it was. Uh, there was a because that was a lot of that was also a really big WrestleMania. I mean that was Stone Cold's last match. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I I think that is officially the first WWE film production. Mm-hmm. It was like it was like the the Cino night. Of, Evil? I forgot what they called. Hold on, let me let me no, try to look it up. But yeah, you're you're right. It was included on the DVD, but they they it was it was like a separate kind of film they did. Go go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and but that was awesome. Like getting to see all that, and you know, mm-hmm. being being as young as I was, I I was mesmerized by it. You know, really, it was it was something really really cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I remember that got me excited about WrestleMania. The mania of WrestleMania mm-hmm. was what it was called. Two thousand four documentary. Oh, I do remember that. It. Uh, I feel like it popped up. Where did I find it? I don't know if it's something that like I found on YouTube or something or. Or it might have been on Netflix. Uh, I think it was on Netflix. It's hard, kind of hard to find uh, if if you're looking for it because it, it was. I think it was only ever released uh, uh, in the DVD. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't remember. I felt like they did like a special on TV. Maybe that was yeah. the Ric Flair thing okay. that I was talking about. But yeah, Riz? anything they've done, it was they did. Between first meeting and the second meeting of the Undertaker and Triple H, uh, not Triple H, uh, the second meeting between HBK and the Undertaker, all of those vignettes, all of the all of the build up to that match, made that match worthwhile. And both guys, which was probably the Undertaker's last great match, mm-hmm. and put it over the top. 
I think I uh, just posted a, a last week. We were I was doing favorite favorite hype videos, mm-hmm. and that one for I believe it was the second uh, HBK Undertaker was like is the good. Is that the one where he like did the good versus evil? Like the uh, white, that, white, was, white, that was the know. one before. I remember yeah, yeah. being at the. Uh, it was either the Raw or SmackDown they did before in Corpus the, uh, the, at the Go Home Show, where uh, Shawn Michaels descended in the white with the smoke and all that, acting like he was Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that was awesome. Now this was um, I, 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 the one that really was to the t- placebo song because it was more. It was more about the re- re- uh, redemption of uh, Shawn Michaels than anything. Mm-hmm. So. Excellent, excellent. Bobby? Uh, mine was uh, WrestleMania 14, leading up to WrestleMania 14. The fight between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. That is one of my all-time favorite WrestleMania matches. Uh, uh, HBK versus uh, Stone Cold with uh, Mike Tyson as a special enforcer. And what happened in that match, Tyson turning, didn't even expect it because of what happened the night before. There the weeks before on raw just leading up to that it was awesome one of my favorite moments in wwe one of my favorite matches too awesome awesome so. all right uh Shav- <laughs> car wrestlemania they're talking about the wrestlemania 10 rap uh <laughs> yes uh cars that we got the wrestlemania all day long uh, 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 pay-per-view for wrestlemania 2000 uh that was tremendous we sat there all day had a bunch of people come over uh, that, that was really good. It really got you excited about WrestleMania, right? Um, mm-hmm. and, and, and even to the point, leave on VHS, I do have the entirety of that WrestleMania all day long and WrestleMania, which I think was in total 12 hours. Nice. But, but also, uh, side note, I have, I think it's over there, uh, Missy, if you, you uh, there's the, uh, the WrestleMania book they did that year. Oh, yeah, or yeah. The year after there, I think it is. Uh, it was like one of those big coffee table books they did. Um, it actually included a DVD ROM that all of the kind of flashback segments they did. Because uh, remember the all day long, if you if you if you didn't uh, get it, uh, they were going back and forth through this kind of history of WrestleMania segment chronology thing, and kind of going through the fan fest access kind of situation and everything too. Um, but uh, what with the VHS? <laughs> Um, I actually look at digitize all my wrestling uh, uh, tapes because I have like like a couple of drawers uh, full of old pay per views and stuff. I'm working on nice. a good process for that. Now that I've redone the office. I kind of set up a little VHS station. It's just I need like six hours at a time to do that and then render it on top of all the other work my computer needs to do. So, um, but uh, yeah, you guys that we share that kind of Dropbox with, they, they, they'll, you guys are going to enjoy that here soon. Um, but anyways, I, we have a hand raised in the in the audience. What, what's up? I don't have a mic on you. Hold on. What? What? Somebody oh. explained Russell fan what a VHS is. Russell fan. Russell fan. Russell fan. Oh. Much like we now, if you thought multi media CD ROMs were before your time, check three. the gold. I don't VHSs know how before that. were with how we used to watch video on magnetic tape that were in these cartridges about yay big. This was before the day of DVD uh, with digital video. This was analog. And fan. This, this was also eight. where you get the term be kind. Please rewind. I went to a Hollywood video and bought uh, Royal Rumble 2000 on VHS. And I also bought WCW Spring Stampede 99 on VHS. And I watched them. And I rewound them. And I those are the only two VHSs dog. that he ever watched. And that's Look understandable. Uh, all right, guys. That was fun. Uh, with WrestleFan is trying so I'm angry hard. because you guys are making me angry. <laughs> Look how hard he was trying to concentrate and remember what those things were. He had his eyes closed and his like fingers because crossed. he would have been really embarrassed if he would have said S H V at some point. <laughs> Thanks, guys. With that, let's toss it to another level of madness. Let's go with Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Greetings, Mayhemers. It's Mad Mike once again with your Minute of Mayhem. WrestleMania, it's almost here can feel it. I'm actually getting a little bit excited for it, which is good because I'm going. But yeah, uh, so Arnold Schwarzenegger is inducting Bruno San Martino. That's about 10 forms of awesome. Uh, I hope I hope he 
make some sort of Mr. Freeze reference. He won't, but I kind of hope he does. Um, also, it looks like the undercard is really shaping out to be something I'm interested in. If they had Caitlyn and AJ, that would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. That would be... And you know what? So everyone gets a paycheck, make it a Lumberjill match. That, that'd be fine by me because I'm sure everyone, um, you know, thinks AJ's crazy, which is good, and everyone wants to be a champion, which is also good. As long as it doesn't turn into that whatever clusterfuck it was on Raw a couple months ago. But, um, yeah, AJ and Caitlyn, that should have been the feud that they should have been building up the whole time. And could you imagine if AJ wins and then if Ziggler cashes in, they'd be the new power couple, and it would be awesome. And they could have a live sex celebration on my birthday on Raw the next night. Doubtful. But they could, and it would be great, and it would be interrupted by Kane and Daniel Bryan and Caitlyn, and it might turn into an orgy. I don't know. That's, that's kind of how they roll. But, um... Yeah, so, um, TNA was, I think this is going to be a pattern that we see where the, um, the second show of their live tapings is going to be just straightforward matches, not too many in-ring segments, um, which I mean, you know, it's not bad, but it just seems a little off. I mean, Jeff Hardy gave up his title shot to just get the title shot again. Whatever, it's fine. He said he wanted to do it because he didn't know if he was 100%. Okay, that's a good way to explain it away. Uh, it was nice to see that TNA did a whole retcon of Aces and Eights. They took away the things that didn't make sense. They added stuff in that did make sense. It was uh, it was good. The Bully Ray, Bully Ray, as I've said for months, he's the MVP of TNA. He is, and he's doing fantastic. I hope he keeps the belt until Bound for Glory, where the emotional AJ Styles is the one that beats him. That, that, book it, book it, that's how I'd write it, book it. Um, so Mad Mike's Raw Stars of the Week. The third star we're going to give to Caitlyn for being awesome and for actually making me care about a diva style match at WrestleMania the first time since Mickey James had her, let's be honest, great match with Trish Stratus. Uh, the second star on Raw goes to CM Punk because he's CM Punk. He's tremendous. And, I mean, he still kind of makes me think that he could beat The Undertaker. I know he can't. No one is going to beat The Undertaker. I understand this. <laughs> but, you know, it's it, it still works. It still works. It's... It's the first time in a long time I've seen where someone actually played mind games with The Undertaker as opposed to the other way around. And that works. That's a great build. And the first star goes to Jonathan Felix Cena. Now, don't get me wrong, Internet. You may think that was a heel turn or a start of a heel turn. It's not. But it was nice. It was nice to see that he had a bit of an edge to him. And you could see, like... Because I watched the segment twice. The first time, I only listened to it. Honestly, only listening to it, the segment was shit to me. It was shit. Then I watched it, and I watched seeing his visuals, and I watched his facial reactions. He sold that shit. He sold... He, I didn't want to see that match. I don't want to see that match, but he sold me on the fucking match. I want to see Cena win now. Not because I hate The Rock. But I just want to see Cena win. I want to see him get that redemption. I think that I... And you know what? If he gets redemption, and if he goes on this trend where he's like, I'm John Cena. I'm fucking awesome. I know this. No one can beat me. No one can touch me. He can, you know, have it go and not be a heel, but be an edgy face. And that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's what he should have been all along. But, uh, yeah, so WrestleMania's almost here, boys. And, uh, yeah, I, it's gonna be a good time. It's because you know the laws of WWE pay per views. The less exciting the matchups look in build form, usually it equals to a better pay per view. It's just the way it goes. All right, let's spend a minute or five or so. Peace, bitches. Thanks, Mad Mike, for that minute.
Chaos of Mayhem. Um, yeah, it, 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 you know, one of these times, Mike, you had those whiteboards behind you most of these episodes, and I just want to see you illustrate a grand wrestling concept on there, uh, on the whiteboards there. Be that a teacher! Just- what? Or just draw a penis. Or just draw a penis and let it go. <laughs> Close enough. So, um, uh, <laughs> yes, Ray, the wrestling thing is on the board next week. Thank you very much. Um, with that, uh, yeah, I want to touch on a couple of those, but first, we have so much to talk about. Uh, I, I want to kind of roll along here because I think we are going to come back around to those topics at hand. Um, uh, first of all, I, I hope you don't mind, Bobby. I kind of hijacked your segment a little bit here. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I see you have something too, but I thought, and these were, these were, uh, uh you guys had posted these on the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were worth bringing up. First of all, okay. We talked about, and this is, this is conversations happened, uh, uh amongst us. Uh, DJ Lunchbox brought up Biggie Langston. Go, go follow him on Twitter. He's oh hilarious. my God. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. Anybody have a sample, uh, uh at I- hand? Give me a second. Give me a give me a minute. I'll, All right. I'll, in the, in the yeah. meantime, we have this. Um, apparently, these are real tweets. There's a little bit of kind of me added to them. Uh, for instance, Triple H, oh, who has been yes. pretty hilarious. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't read Bleacher Report articles. If I wanted to hear from an illiterate 14-year-olds, I'd ask Jerry Lawler for his little black book. Oh! oh, oh that's the CO. What is he? He's like... Is it COO? COO. C- like, mm-hmm. Is he legit the COO of WWE? Or was that... I, I, I can't... He's something... He's on the executive page for corporate WWE. And he, he has the, the most amazing burn on Twitter. Uh, so, uh, at Triple H, if you want to follow his burns. Um, <laughs> I, want to, I want to do this one. Hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me find it first. Wait, wait. What? Um, I, I need to get back on the Mayhem show here. All right, are, you, are you doing the Cody one? I'm doing the Cody one. Okay, okay. A in, in between that, I do have a tweet from Biggie Langston. Mm-hmm. When someone says something mean to me on Twitter, I just fire up the Florence of the Machines Pandora station, curl up in a ball, and weep. <laughs> <laughs> and Biggie Langston. With, at Biggie Langston on Twitter, by the to way. To start with, we did not think that guy had a personality at all. No. I know! Oh, shit! He did it. He's amazing. That's great. Let me guess. Is- Russell fan is about to say... If you watch TNA, you'd see or in TNA. It's an NXT. And he's amazing on there. Same thing. But uh, anyways, yeah. Cody Rhodes, as you all know, has a mustache. <laughs> my, my, am I being exaggerating on this? No, 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 no. He has a mustache. Yes. And he also has a Twitter account at Cody Rhodes WWE. So he tweeted out this gem. I'm on my way to at Chuck E. Cheese to have a little Sunday fun, if you know what I mean. Winky face. <laughs> at Chris Hansen, you mad bro? Hashtag groomed for greatness. Hashtag if there is grass on the on the field, play ball. Wow. What? <laughs> what? I, that's I, messed up. And that is Damian Sandow's best friend. Yes. That now that that that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we see how the Riz rolls. All but right. They, it seems like they're just taking the me- the memes of everybody and just putting him in real life. <laughs> and I think it's kind of like the whole maybe if like if you're a parent and go, maybe if we like this stuff these guys won't like it anymore. And they'll stop doing it. Maybe. Maybe. They're just joining in on the joke or something. Yeah. I, it's got to be. Bobby, I, and you have one as well. I, I have two different ones here. Um, and these are for uh, for real uh, 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 unwashed masses. Quotes. Yeah, this, these are the uh, comments from the unwashed masses this week. Dear Seamus, Randy, N. Big Show, P- comma, please at least break the shield once. Comma, 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 comma. Them realize that how it feel that how it feels when free attack on one dot dot make v i t h e i life miserable comma comma. comma Everybody, comma. I mean, each WWE fan wants to see this comma comma. Are they trying to make a super comma? <laughs> no, they're just they're just singing Comic Chameleon. 
Yeah. Oh, now, if uh, everybody uh, is agreed, oh, one comma, good job. <laughs> Give me the hell, yeah! Yeah. Wow. Um, Fifty H's, and then I I found another one that was unrelated, mm-hmm. um, but it it was must be from somebody from France because they said. In France, we discover Monday Night Raw at Tuesday. <laughs> That's all they wrote. So, is that like in Russia? <laughs> yeah, like in a I Russian read font. that and just about <laughs> peed laughing. <laughs> in France, we discover Monday Night Raw at Tuesday. <laughs> Think about in it. In Russia car drive you <laughs> yeah awesome and that's also, the comments from Unwa- unwashed also, masses this week. also uh with the biggie langston twitter he tweeted a photo of a uh, advertisement uh, female in a one <laughs> bathing suit with the hashtag singlet ideas <laughs> uh and his twitter profile uh says they don't call me big for nothing all of a sudden dot 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 <laughs> so wow Biggie did something before on Twitter when he was all, when they were talking about him and being Rye Black. He, well, he didn't say he said he didn't like that nickname, but he had another nickname. I forget what it was. Mm. Chalk. Uh, oh, I I know what it, I, I. It's chalk You're something. Delivering. You're not delivering, man. You're not delivering. See if you can find out. So, no, I'm, I in the meantime, I have something that's going to make you happy. I have something that's definitely going to make you happy. It's also something. Uh, I, well, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to be very happy about this, Riz. Oh, it's not working. Is it? Is it's it what not, I think it's going to be? It's not working. It's definitely not working. Hold on. I need to fix it. Uh, all right. I guess that is. That's the best. Yay! Great Kali. That's right. It's the great Kali says. Yeah. We're going to have to say such great things as. It's loading. It's apparently, it's loading. Oh. <laughs> oh! I want that as my ringtone. I want my the book of one as well. Yeah, yeah. It's Kali saying the best catchphrases on I the have, internet. I, I uh, have and to, uh, added uh, bonus, this works on an iPhone. Yes. <laughs> so Dude, I now have a one. link on my on my desktop on the iPhone for whenever I need the great Kali to oh, bring okay. my day okay. up. Do the Vince McMahon one. That's it. Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. I got to find it. Vince McMahon. You are tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the okay, I got, oh I got the tweet that I was looking for. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> He's excited about it. What the rock? He's cooking. <laughs> what the rock? Boom. What the rock? Boom. That was Kofi Kingston. Have a yeah. nice day. <laughs> you got Riz. All right. <clears throat> this is from Biggie Langston. People, Rye Black is unimaginative and dull. On the other hand, Chalk Lesnar made me audibly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to touch on. And then, and then he retweeted somebody that called him Solberg. <laughs> yeah. Solberg. We need nice. we need to uh, uh, touch on a uh, a, a superstar, a superhero in our ranks. Of professional wrestling again, TMZ. I I am getting happier and happier by getting my wrestling mo- news from TMZ lately. Between the uh, the X Pac uh, ass bleeding, uh, the the Paul Bear family uh, story from last week, and now right. X Superstar saves mom from burning house. Oh, in news that makes you feel like less of a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, so so apparently house is burning. He got he. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> I thought Sorg just said apparently house is burned. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he rushed to his mother's L.A. home yesterday, according to TMZ, after his uncle called and said that the neighbor had gone crazy and barricaded himself into her house. When he showed up, the neighbor was shouting through the front door, and he would burn the place down if anybody trying to gain gain entry. So the guy that looks like this uh, is trying to gain entry. Uh, Chris says that he's talking sense to the guy, but he wasn't having it, so Chris called the cops. But when they showed up, the neighbors set the house on fire. Chris jumped into hero mode, tearing a tree out of the ground and tossing it through a window. Chris tearing re- a tree 
out of the ground with his bare hands. I mean, I mean not, you know, nice shot on the side, by the way. Uh, Chris reached through <laughs> the window and removed his mom from the inferno, at which point police rushed in and arrested the neighbor on arson charges. The man is currently still in custody. It is unclear why he snapped, but Chris does his mother proud. Lord, there's a gallery there if you want to click on it. <laughs> we, yes. <laughs> no, not that. Not that. No, that has nothing to do with the wrestling. And maybe, maybe that's kind of, yeah. I don't. I don't think that's what we want to get into here. Uh, um, he says you. Although, although there is, although it says on the um, you may like, million dollar man Ted Biasi, I don't speak the Virgil. Yes, um, <laughs> that, that was a few weeks ago, and yes. <laughs> Oh, and there's reasons. Nobody right? speaks the Virgil. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, all he had to do was put on the master lock. <laughs> on the tree? Maybe that's how he ripped it out of the ground. Maybe. Well, maybe, but. He should have put the if, fire if they on the put master, the master lock. lock on the door because nobody breaks the master lock. <laughs> he could, he could, you know what he could have done? Put the fire in the master lock and let it away from the building. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. And I do have to say, like this, this is an awesome story, and it makes you feel good in the end. Oh, well, yeah, it's a good it story. Does. It is. Yeah. Good for him. Good the for only him. thing is, um, he threw the tree through the window. Because when I first read it, I'm like, oh, he's, when he uprooted the tree with his bare hands, uh, he uses like a battering ram to get through the door. Uh, if he threw it through the window, can he just, and I know it will probably hurt, but couldn't he like punch the window? <laughs> I don't know. I don't and know. not like uproot maybe, a tree. Maybe physics are different in LA. You well, know. I'll just I'll just say it's fight or flight. Okay, That's <laughs> fight or flight. You gotta yeah, wonder he, how big that tree was. Though. I mean, I'm expecting it was like like oh shit, no. tree. like it was shrubbery I, I, size, right? I, I mean, want it, it to be a giant tree. <laughs> I want like a redwood. It up, I, yeah. You know, you know, I just can't <laughs> wait. I just can't wait for the botch spot. The botch spot oh, strip is happening from this. Uh, oh, yeah. The botchbot.com comic strip. Uh, and it's got to be coming up this sometime next week, and it will be exactly what all of us are imagining in our heads <laughs> when we read the story. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, like, put the tree in the master lock, and it, like, I, it fell through. I don't even like know where to start and... with that. So, okay. Yeah. Fra- okay, you remember how I described it on a, a different podcast about a, a comic strip? <laughs> Frame number one <laughs> picks up a giant redwood. <laughs> Frame number two, he swings it like a baseball bat. <laughs> Frame number three, his mom flies out the window and the house goes flying away on fire. <laughs> and he, frame number four, bonus frame, he catches his mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, Bobby F. Tish is the bot spot. Um, I hope you're listening, bot There you go. There you go. We want some. Uh, my name. Um, okay, let's go back around. Uh, one TNA. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying TNA. We touched a little it's bit on the X Division. Uh, the the Bully Ray. I think we talked off air was really well done. I love how it was. I like how they put it. It's exactly what they did. They retconned aces and eights. Mm-hmm. They. I love how they explain like, yeah, this 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 happened and that didn't work so well. So we changed the plan because we were so smart. It was. <laughs> but it all made sense. It this is crazy. the reinvention of Bully Ray, and it's fucking awesome. Um, I buy him as a champ. It's great. It, you think about like Bully Ray, like really Bully Ray as a heavyweight champion. Remember when he tried to do a singles run back in uh, WWE? In yeah, and shorts? remember when it was Devon who was the better singles wrestler yeah. in WWE? Now you've redefined those two. They're relevant again. They're not just D three D. You know, doing what they've always been doing with a different name because we can't afford to pay the license on it uh, you know I, it's it's uh it, it's pretty cool uh i i it's making it worth watching uh i love the crowd i didn't even know the crowd was they were taping two shows uh, they are taping two shows it makes sense it makes sense it's, it's economical yeah, that's for um then sure. speaking of that because i don't want to deride them because tna what they're doing with their product as recent has been amazing and they've made a lot of strides but once again their business practices Aren't that great? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> because, uh, but you can have a, you can have a lot of complaints about well, WWE. No, no, no. Because the story out now is that the shows they're doing on the road now, yeah, uh, they are paying their wrestlers for one appearance, not for the <gasps> fact that they're doing two shows. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. And yeah. and, and uh, 
when I say that, those are the ones that we mentioned before that work for appearance, not the ones that are under contracts and get the money anyways. We're talking about guys like the Xeno Ions and the uh, and the and the knockouts and and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I and that's going to be the thing. And those guys, that's their choice, you know. They say, is it worth for me working for this company and getting the exposure and 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 the schedule that they give us? Uh, is that worth it versus everything else? So it's it's it's. Yeah, it's not the most ideal. Hey, they're on TV. They should be doing a little bit more with it. I'm sure it's a pretty decent check for the appearance they're getting. But, you know, I mean, a lot of these guys go and they'll do a, a mini Japan tour or something. Or then they get other gigs, you know. Yeah, and I, and I, I, mean, and this, I hope this, so. This, this, yeah. is, this, isn't, this isn't you get a contract and you fly with that, like with WWE. Not well, a lot yeah. of people can do that. I understand that. But I, I, I think, you know... I don't know. I think they can do something different. I don't know if we mentioned it last week on the show. Did we talk about the Daphne thing? Uh, we did not talk about it on air, but you want to uh, real quick tell us what well, happened there? Uh, uh, TNA's been filming their uh, one night only pay per views in Orlando uh, last couple weekends, uh, filming those. And uh, for the Knockouts pay per view, which, by the way, reports say a lot of their big knockout talents that they used to have declined their offer to uh, be on the pay per view. Big list. Uh, yeah, a lot of big people. Um, and, but Daphne uh, attended, uh, not in a wrestling capacity, uh, she was outside protesting with, I believe, a couple others uh, as well, uh, with a sign that says, uh, I'm here independently, because that's the big thing with her lawsuit, is she really wants to question uh, TNA's uh, use of the term independent contractor, mm-hmm. which is allows them to sort of have these wrestlers, but not have to give them, you know, like health care or health benefits and stuff like that. Um, and sort of allows them to get away with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, um, I, it's, it's interesting. Uh, and I, I, I personally, I fully side with Daphne. I know TNA is not WWE, but that doesn't mean they can't provide their wrestlers with certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Putting, I, and I, I, I can't, you know, speak for what the discussion is to, for her to do what happened in that match, which was a pretty mm-hmm. brutal match. Uh, some of the hits she took, uh, but there's definitely, you know, there could be some follow through like, hey, we appreciate what you did to put on a good show. Here's some help, you know. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine that TNA is not big enough. They, they can't spring for a little bit of help here and there for something like that. Yeah, how mu- this is something. Um, how much money did, does WWE, this is totally different, put in for rehab? For their former superstars, and that's what I'm curious. And the only time I've and heard then, they rescinded it is somebody like uh, like Sonny, like Sonny. Sonny. So, but but still, they 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 said on uh, the e the e not e sixty, yeah, the e sixty thing they had about Scott Hall. Mm-hmm. They spent over six figures on his rehab alone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that was before they had before he went to uh, DDP Yoga. Yeah. But and, and still, TNA can't spend like a grand or two to help out. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah. Well, we're talking about basic medical expenses. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's I, I'm sorry. sorry go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I think if, if they just did something with like Daphne when she had originally got injured, it wouldn't have spawned off of that, and she wouldn't no. have gotten more complications no. with it. Yeah, and to the point where now she can't wrestle. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's, it, it, I think WWE does this one because they put a, they have more of a public corporate face. They have, uh, of course, uh, shareholders and everything. And I think there's a little bit of responsibility to the wrestling industry since they are the wrestling industry, uh, both both in in length of time and and legacy and everything. And it's kind of a give back thing, you know. That's kind mm-hmm. of a bit of a charity thing versus TNA is run by a lot of people that are not involved, that have not been involved with the wrestling business more than uh, the extent of how long TNA has been around. So they don't feel that uh, uh, they probably, probably a lot of them look at wrestlers as they look at employees of Panda Energy, you know, oh, yeah. and, and they're like, well, we wouldn't do this for the, our employees here. So why would we do this here? You know, you know, granted, you know, this, there was a parent company to this. So just like, just like Eric Bischoff had to answer to Turner, uh, these people have to answer to you know the, the the Carter family. You know, yeah, yeah. Dixie's running the TNA side with a lot of help wrestling stuff. You know, but it's not you don't have somebody that's been in the wrestling business all their life running a wrestling company. You have a business person running a wrestling company. 
you know, I mean, and then they're looking to cut costs any way they can. So. Yeah, and you're wondering, and they have to justify the balance sheets to whoever's up top. It may be, it's not, you may not have as big of a crazy billionaire that will just throw money at the problem, <laughs> like what happened with WCW. Um, you know, you don't have, you, you have very, very select and few guaranteed contracts in this case versus yeah. versus what they did. So. That's that. So that's a good way to put it, sorry. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> it's not it's not WWE, that's the thing. And then and then uh oh. Oh, scared me for a second. I thought <laughs> it was Oh wow. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Computer froze for a little bit. I hope we're we're cool. Uh-oh. Uh anyways, uh anyway, you know, before we have any other good conversation that we may not be keeping in this segment. Uh well first John Cena, I thought it was a great promo. I think we touched on it more or less, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, I thought it was good. Uh, good ride. I thought it was uh, enjoyable last night. Um, you know, a lot of people are bored by it, but like, it's it's what I expect out of WWE. That's fine. That's why I watch WWE, and I go watch the other guys for other stuff. That's cool. Uh, the, take, the Taker Punk stuff has been really, really yeah. Good. I'm I, I'm really looking forward to this WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. You know. So, with that, guys, I want to know what did you learn from wrestling this week, Mister Bobby? Um, I learned how to correctly pronounce Fandango. Oh, good. I'm glad some and, of us can. And well, show us, Bobby. Show us. No. Why not? <laughs> okay. Sir, hey, man, Mike will show us on his whiteboard next week. And, and he has tickets available for almost every movie. Almost. Almost every movie. Everything except for Oz. Does he have like a pie? No. That's oh. the only one he doesn't have. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, Life of Pie tickets were completely available when I went and saw Oz a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I looked on Fandango. There were only one person in the theater, and that was Russell fan. It's me, Russell fan. What did you learn <laughs> I like from the scene with the whale? Russell um, fan, what did you learn from Life of wow. Pi this week? Nothing. <laughs> uh, I learned from wrestling this week that Brad Maddox is the greatest. Oh thing my on god! Yes, planet. yes. He is so good. As like, you can so see by good. the thread, I didn't have enough good things. What did I say? He's like a Parks and Recreation character. Mm-hmm. He's Dwight Schrute. <laughs> he's Dwight Schrute. It's, he's the assistant to the general manager. Yeah, the, to yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, the and they've manager. even acknowledged on commentary that, that that's the office. So, yeah. Um, yeah I, and as, I think I also mentioned oil. I can't wait for this guy to get fired uh, so we can talk to him. Um, because that would be a blast. If also, so co- we can have a baby battle royal. Yeah, baby battle royal. <laughs> under under the rope be, rules. Under yeah. the rope, baby battle royal. The chan- The winner is the next. That big has to be the most star. Fun. That is the most fun I've seen Matt Striker have ever. Yeah. <laughs> the so. best was when uh, Striker asked him, "What questions would you ask the Rock?" And he's like, "Rock, what What's you up? doing, man?" What's up? <laughs> What's going on? And then Matt Stryker said, "That's not, Matt Stryker said that's not a question." And Brad Maddox was like, "That's, that's two, two questions. That's two questions." <laughs> Briz, I learned that Arn Anderson has a uh, distant relative. It's in the, it's in the chat. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm not in the chat there. I saw this. It's oh, Ernie. It's the wrong site. I'm sorry. I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm not. I'm Ernie not working Anderson. very well this late. Um, Ernie Anderson. Ernie Anderson. <laughs> it's just. Oh, no. It's just the. Oh, poor. Paul Bear. Is and like, there oh. it is. Load it's, and loading, it's Ernie loading, and he has the creepiest smile. I. He think. does. He's like so happy with his concept. I have a. Turn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But the urn is not prepped. And also, I've le- I learned that no matter what happens inside that ring, in the middle of that ring, in front of Bret Hart, Bret Hart doesn't give two shits. <laughs> he was very unimpressed with the situation. Four out of ten. Everybody else was on their feet. And, like, uh, I'm pretty sure Dusty Rhodes was jerking it underneath the table. Uh, <laughs> but Bret Hart was just... Meh. He's Bret Hart. Just, eh. mm. yeah. I think I think we have we should there should be a picture somewhere on the Facebook page of Bret Hart just giving the evil. There is, there death is, there is. Uh, Mad Mike learned that uh, Bret thought he uh, was watching Raw on the TV. 
<laughs> so uh, I learned that that little kids could potentially get seriously injured at indie wrestling shows. Uh, oh, what? I, I, oh. I was watching the monitors. I, I can't remember what match it was at uh, RWA Saturday night, but uh, there was this this, this 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 guy was walking his kid. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> like, I mean, presumably Taking back, uh, presumably leash, back, sure. like from the bathroom or something, right? Uh, and and this little little, I mean, gosh, she was probably like four or something, right? And and you know how it happens in wrestling matches; they'll just unceremoniously dump somebody over the top ropes, right? And I'm watching on the monitors. Chachi's got a really good shot of this guy, like, you know, falling down to the floor and comes inches away from just landing on top of this poor little girl. So, yeah, I, I uh, actually sent a message. I was like, maybe we should say that people should say, should not uh, go to the restrooms and during matches uh, due to uh, hazards from the guys or- in the ring. I can, or I can picture don't go Chuck. by the ring. Well, well yeah, okay, here's a problem, though. Here's a problem with the setup, though. Uh, the place is only big enough that if you're walking, there's no, like, you can't walk behind any th- anybody to get to uh, any other part of the facility. Uh. So it's kind of a size issue at that point. Um, but still, I think there needs to be a little more pressure because there's, like, kids, like, running at ringside during matches and stuff that are seats and back and forth and stuff, and then they run by my equipment, <laughs> and, which makes me nervous, personally. Um since so, he's not here, I can picture Chachi when fil- when he was filming that. Mm-hmm. If that happened and like the girl got hit, he first he would be con- concerned. Mm-hmm. When she got up and like started moving around, probably break up, break down, laughing his ass off. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, well, I mean that's not the first time. Well, God, I wonder if it was the same little girl. So now I think oh, about it. No. Uh, was, was she time, Asian? Well, I remember the guy. Uh, the guy they had there, uh, Valentine. Uh, his name was, or he had the shake weight thing, and, and and it got yeah, yeah, and they they did that whole thing too. Uh, well, it got kicked. He was like what he was reaching for because it's like power up thing, right? And, and the the bad guy like kicked it out of the way, and it like hit some girl oh, in the foot. Oh no! So well, that was a whole thing. Oh. Plus, at that VOW show, if you've seen the pictures where. Uh, Ryan Mitchell and, and Logan Shula went for this pile driver and it kicked out part of the ceiling. Uh, and then it's like these sharp, you know, things that hold the tiles up, right? I, one got like thrown, I guess, into the crowd at some point somehow. And I get hit, it hit a little kid, you know, to the point they went and uh, I, I, I got, uh, you know, Shula uh, had me grab one of his t shirts and we, we gave him like a DVD and I think like Fasad and Shula signed it for the kid. You know, uh, uh, so it helps feel better. But, uh, you know, it's, it's dangerous. You know, it's, with the indie wrestling stuff, being that close, you know, it's just, you know. Sorg, I have some stories to tell you about some All good right, ones. All right, some other time. We got to get out of here, guys. We're running late. <laughs> and my Mike says, fuck you. I learned that Caitlyn versus AJ is a wor- builder, better built feud than either world title match. There you go. This has been your Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check us out. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker. Split Spreaker. TV, Roku, Spreaker. Spreaker, Spreaker, Good times. Good times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0. Find the app, app Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold on your iOS app store and Amazon app stores. There Thanks, guys. Had a blast tonight, as usual. Thanks, our chat room. Join us here live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com around about 9 p.m. Eastern time. Or join the rest of our techie and video game shows at that same address as early as 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to SorgatronMedia.com for all our shows and sign up for the newsletter for the latest in DVDs and what we're doing and a little tip of the week that I do as well. Uh, that's it. Sorg, the Mayhemers. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.